Although this is the Mobile World Congress, there's been a lot of talk about fixed line networks, specifically fiber optic networking. Joining us now to talk more about next generation pawns is Dr. Frank Effenberger, who is the rapporteur for the ITUT on Q215, which is the group dealing with uh, optical access standards. Uh, Frank, quickly, let's go through that dichotomy. Mm -hmm. It is a, mo you know, 5G is a mobile uh, uh, standard, but we're also talking about fixed line technology. How do they work? You know, what, what is, why do we need uh, the, the pawn standards? Sure, well, I mean, fundamentally, we need ponds for increased bandwidth. Uh, the uh, never-ending uh, increase of applications is going to drive bandwidth more and more. There's all kinds of different videos. There's uh, video formats, there's virtual reality, uh, augmented reality, uh, and then of course all of the 5G equipment. That needs to have backhaul and front haul links so the access network will be there. And that's really, you know, a lot of operators like to think about fixed mobile convergence and how both of the networks can work together to deliver services to the customer. And we're seeing a lot of uh, fiber to the home, fiber to the enterprise. That is, that is definitely rolling out around the world. Mm -hmm. um, with that, 10G pawn is coming as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what are the opportunities for the industry uh, to make use of that? Sure. Well, for uh, the first thing to notice there is that actually the amount of deployment of fiber is really quite astounding. It's half a billion customers are being served by fiber to the home or fiber to the X networks. Uh, and most of that is GPON, uh, and it's uh, you know, pro providing very good services. Now the industry is embarking on the path to upgrade that to 10 GPON. So that, of course, is the big opportunity then. You know, all of that equipment needs to be renewed, but it's in a way that you know, the 10 GPON can share the fiber with the, uh, the uh, GPON so that you can do a very seamless kind of uh, uh, rebuild. Mm -hmm. And so that's an opportunity for particularly for vendors like Huawei or for other companies in the uh, providing the, the, the backbone infrastructure that's needed sure, for that. Sure. Now as far as uh, like a, a challenge, you know, the classic challenge of access is always cost. And, we, and you know, really quite amazing things have been done with GPON mm -hmm. in to, in to reduce the cost of those uh, uh, equipments and the optics that go into them. And we need to continue that work with 10 GPON. Mm -hmm. So we have to drive that down. But in addition, we also have to look at innovating the business model and trying to broaden the market so that we can you know, increase the revenues in addition to reducing the cost. Sure, 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 the, the, the double whammy there. Yes. So when, when we look at uh, uh, doing this industry-wide, obviously standardization is uh, a useful thing to have, right? Mm -hmm. So for NG Pond, what, what, are, what are your views about the standardization there? I know you've done a lot of work in sure. various standards, uh, uh, establishing standards in, in other yes, areas. Yeah. Yes. yeah, so it's, it's been quite a long history. And uh, I mean, the simple view to look at it is, uh, you know, operators basically want a new system every eight to 10 years, and they want the new system to be four times the bandwidth of the previous one. So that's simple, simple, but that's effective. Um, and so we had GPON, that, that basically started in 2007. Now we have XGPON, that's doing like 2016 is basically when it first kicked off. And so we're looking for 50 GPON at 2025 is kind of the time frame that we're looking at here. Of course, there will be other applications maybe a little bit sooner, things like uh, 5G front haul could be very interesting there, but you know, it's, it's basically that path. In addition, uh, you know, up to now, we've always sort of had ITU systems and IEEE systems. They do basically the same thing, but in slightly different ways. So we're trying to, in this next generation, converge that and bring it into a single uh, unified system. So a lot of the uh, operators, and especially the, the Chinese big three operators, they basically have, have announced their plans to converge on 50G GPON as their final step. So that, that we see that there's a good uh, drive towards convergence. So that seems a little bit early, uh, if it's 2025 that they're really looking for that to come out. Is, is that about the right time frame to really get things to pave well, the way? I mean, the, the, the current generations that are already kind of in motion are already there, so it's hard to change. You know, it's, it's, it's unification is one of these uh, like lofty goals that's always kind of in the future, but eventually the future arrives, we hope. So uh, that's, that's kind of the, the good time frame that we can get everyone on the same uh, page. Eventually so the future arrives. On that note, thank you very much for, mm -hmm. for your views. I appreciate your time. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. thank you very much.